for uh, people with neurologic conditions such as spinal cord injury, stroke, um, multiple sclerosis. Sometimes um, it causes paralysis of the muscles or weakness in the muscles so that um, it means that it is very difficult to um, sometimes use the lower of the legs. The electrical stimulation bike basically um, allows all of that to happen. How it works is that there are electrodes which you can see that are attached to different muscles in the legs and in the buttocks. And um, the computer here will actually uh, simulate a cycling motion um, that will allow the legs to move in a very coordinated fashion. I can't muscularly activate my muscles to do the motions for me, but the electrical currents that are going through my legs help you stimulate your muscles, build muscles and retain muscles that I would otherwise have lost or will lose if I stop using the bike because I'm not moving them on my own. Yeah, the first time I got on it, it was really weird just having my muscles move that I thought I'd lost those muscles. I don't really feel anything at the beginning of a ride because my muscles might be sleepy or aren't working, but you can always, because you're moving, your cardiovascular is moving or like being affected and yeah, your sweat glands still get affected because you're still working out. I think it's very important. I think everyone who not just spinal cord injury, but people with MS, people who don't have full function of their muscles should be on it to keep everything working in the way that it's supposed to be working, keep your range of motion strong. I know that technology like the FAS bike is always being invented and improving so that I can walk again.